Hi, good morning everybody. My name is attorney Charles Zabala here from Zabala Texas Law here in beautiful Houston, Texas. Today is July 19th, 2021 and I have a video regarding some new DACA updates that came out this Friday which was, let me see here, let me get you that date. Uh, bu -bu -bum. Sorry, it was the 16th, July 16th. So it's um it's not a good video, right? Apparently, the, the, there's news that came out for DACA that's going to put it on hold. I'll explain everything to you right now. But what DACA is, DACA is a program, deferred action program, where if you entered as a child and you can hit certain requirements, you can now get a work permit and you're allowed to be here. I wouldn't say legally, but you have deferred status, which means that the government isn't going to try to deport you. So when President Trump was came into presidency, he kind of blocked DACA for anyone that was applying for the first time. If you're renewing your DACA, you're still okay. But he blocked it for anyone who was applying for the first time. So then when President Biden came in, approximately in uh, December or January, they opened the DACA up again, which is fantastic, right? Because there was tons of people um, who wanted to apply, who were eligible, but were never able to do it because of the Trump administration had closed it. So since about December, January, our office, I know lots of lawyers, I know lots of people have been applying for DACA for the first time for um, clients who are eligible for it, right? But unfortunately, this Friday, we got some bad news. There was a federal judge down in the Valley, actually where I'm from, from South Texas, my exact hometown, believe it or not, Brownsville, Texas, that um, he ruled and he found that DACA is unlawful for the new applicants, right? What does this mean? How is this going to affect us? What does it matter? Blah, blah, blah. So by this federal judge saying that he found DACA unlawful, that means everyone who is applying for the first time, their applications are going to be stalled. They're going to be halted, right? And that's a huge, that's a huge bummer for anyone that is applying for DACA for the first time because here they were again thinking, oh, you know what? Trump had closed it. Now DACA is open again for me so I can apply for the first time. Everything's great. But then this ruling came out on Friday where the judge is saying, listen, they did not implement DACA the correct way, and because of that, it is unlawful. So all the applications that are pending right now with uh, USCIS, as of it reopened again, are going to be what's called stayed, or they're going to be on pause, which means that they're not going to be able to approve them because this federal judge said that they, um, <laughs> the whole DACA program, the new one, is unlawful. Does that mean we have to panic and, you know, the world's over? No right? It's definitely not helpful. I think it's a few steps backwards we took, right? Because this puts a lot of people in a situation that they were before they applied. <sighs> what does this mean? This doesn't mean that if you applied, they're going to come try to get you and deport you. No, they said they're not going to do any of that. All it means is they're not going to approve you based off what this federal judge said, okay? The Biden administration has come out and said, listen, we don't think that judge ruled right, so they are going to appeal it, which is great, you know, because the way appeals work is a judge makes a decision, then you can appeal it to a higher court. If they agree with you, the other side usually appeals it, and it kind of goes like that until it gets to the Supreme Court. Um, so they are saying they're going to appeal this, which I hope they do, and I hope it does come out in favor of DACA, because these are a lot of people who, they're in immigration limbo, okay? So that's the bad news I have. And you know, normally I, I like to make videos that are uplifting or that people can get behind, feel good about, but this is the truth. You know, this is very important if you were applying for DACA. Have we had many clients who are in this situation who are now their cases are gonna be on pause until we figure out what's going on with the other court's ruling. The good thing about this, if we can try to pull anything good about this, is hopefully this kind of forces Congress. Because Congress for a while had been saying, oh, we're going to pass DACA rules, we're going to pass DACA laws, and nothing's been happening. But now by this judge blocking this, you know, we're hoping that this forces Congress to say, well, look, the court denied it, right? So we need to make some law to help DACA people, to push them through. So that it, it, it's not game over. You know, Congress could still come up with laws to create a way for people who are eligible for DACA or who have DACA to get citizenship. And that's what we're hoping for. But unfortunately, given, you know, the um, July 16th, you know, the judge blocked this. So any new applications for DACA, anything like that, it's going to be paused. It's going to be standstill. So I know that's a, a big blow to anyone that was eligible for DACA or that had applications out, you know. I I want y'all to know that I understand y'all's concern, I understand y'all's worry, but let's not give up hope, okay? 
doesn't mean your applications are, you know what, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. You know, some people say one thing, some people say the other. We don't know if they're going to go ahead and just deny all the applications or they're just going to hang on to them to see what this appeal happens. I don't know any of that. But as soon as I do get more information, I'm obviously going to come and let you guys know. Okay. So the main gist of this video is July 16th, 2021, a federal judge said DACA was blocked it, said it was unlawful. So all the new applicants who applied as of, I think, December, January, up until now, your applications are gonna be on pause, okay? And I know that's a big bummer, but hopefully this forces Congress to be able to create some sort of legislation or some sort of laws that are gonna benefit people for DACA, okay? So once again, I'm sorry for anyone that's affected by this, but hey, let's keep our chin ups. Um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to give me a call. I'm more than happy to answer any questions y'all have. Um, other than that, let's keep on pushing on, okay? Thank you, and I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.